In Arizona, breeders don't need a license and are largely unregulated, which means any prospective pet buyers need to be extra careful before turning over any money. A big decision. There's just so many emotions. For Christina Proctor to buy a little pup, a friend to have at home in North Phoenix. What kinds of things am I going to need to do and how am I going to need to change my house? In September 2020, she sent a $500 deposit through Venmo to Littlefoot Yorkies in Queen Creek, reserving her spot to get a Yorkie from the next litter, or so she thought. I had a name for her and the whole thing, so it was, you know, it was... It was hard. Now, nearly six months later, there's still no puppy, no refund, and no word from this apparent breeder. You feel stupid, you feel angry because you've been taken by someone. And she's not alone. 12 News talked to 17 people across the country who all say they sent deposits to Littlefoot Yorkies and never got their dogs. Like Sherry Tucker in Oakland, California. It really broke my heart. She sent $350 to get a puppy in December as a surprise for her son. When he found out on his birthday that he wasn't getting a dog, he was really disappointed. Then there's Christy Frazier, all the way out in a St. Louis suburb. And I know that she probably played on my emotions a little bit because I had just lost my dog at 15 years. Sending $700 to Littlefoot Yorkies to cover the deposit and transport fee to bring the new dog to Missouri. She even signed paperwork promising she'd get a healthy dog. You know, here I am, closer to 60, never been scammed a day in my life. And I was like, I can't believe someone has the nerve to do that. In all cases, people who put down deposits say the breeder sent them photos of their prospective pooches before ultimately blocking them. Through social media, some people found they were sent pictures of the same dogs or dogs from different breeders that weren't up for grabs. Littlefoot Yorkies offering up different excuses to different people. Here I feel like I'm praying for somebody that, that you know, was ripping me off. Even if the reasons don't add up, the money does. Our math shows the 17 people sent more than $10,000 to Littlefoot Yorkies. Only five of them said they got refunds. Over the phone, the breeder told 12 News she says she refunded almost everyone. The conduct by the breeder suggests that the breeder knows that they did the wrong thing. Steve Lee is an expert fraud witness, not connected to this case. From the outside looking in, it looks like a scam. The Pinal County Sheriff's Office is investigating complaints about Littlefoot Yorkies, but right now, no charges have been filed. Why might it be so difficult to prosecute? They tend to respond to larger dollar numbers, which really is unfortunate because it leaves smaller scale victims like this kind of stuck. And the options for the victims really bite. Filing a lawsuit to get a refund or keep trying to demand one from the seller and wait to see if law enforcement will do anything. Are you expecting to get your money back? No. No. I don't know. For these women, the red flags didn't pop up right away. Sherry says she was referred by a friend who actually bought a Yorkie from the very same breeder. The others say they vetted her through social media, pages that are now gone. There needs to be a consequence. The address listed for Littlefoot Yorkies is now an empty house up for rent in Queen Creek. And someone at the breeder's home address told us Littlefoot Yorkies was no longer a business and that they couldn't explain what happened. The lesson learned, always a cautionary tale. I wouldn't send money over the internet. Meet up with the person, make sure everything is legit. We opted not to name the breeder because she currently isn't facing any charges. But get this, after we asked her questions last week, we heard back from four people who told us they got their refund after months of waiting. That still means about half the people we talked to are still waiting for theirs. For more tips on how to avoid puppy predators, you can head to the 12 News app. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.